and we welcome you back to The Coaches Show here on 90.1 KBPK. I'm Ryan Osborne, joined by Holden Remy, and well, behind us, you've got the soccer field. We're talking to the men's soccer program at Fullerton College, Coach Greg Avilas and his staff as well getting an opportunity to talk to these soccer players and Holden when you take a look at it Fullerton College in the first well first couple weeks one and three didn't look all too great but then all of a sudden they've been on an incredible run lately yeah you know they've been on an absolute tear since they've lost those three games only one loss and then since that loss it's been over a month since they've lost again and they have not lost since that September 27th game against Cyprus well, when you speak of this team and how well that they've been able to play over the last month, let's get to it and let's start with the captain of this program. Let's get it right to your interview with Cooper. How's it going? Welcome to the Coach Show here on 90.1 KBPK. Today we're here with sophomore Fullerton College soccer captain Cooper Clark. Cooper, welcome to the Coach Show. Cooper, very good season you guys are having so far this year. Currently in first place in conference, six and one in conference on the year. Haven't lost a game in over a month. Tell me how you feel about that. Uh, it feels great. Um, last year it was it was rough, and my biggest goal was to, you know, this year to walk in and complete something we didn't get to do, which was, you know, be undefeated for this long and, uh, you know, pull some wins at home. So it feels great. It feels great to be with the team and celebrate in the locker room. Uh, this is a great group of boys, and I think I, I wouldn't be able to do it without them. You know, we talk about you're a captain, you play fullback. The defense this season has especially been, they've st stood out, you know, allowing less than a goal per game for the rest of the season. Being the captain of that defense, what can you say has been attributed to that? Um, just the determination from our back line. Uh, those who sub in, those who sub off, everything from the, from the bench to the players on the field. Um, the determination to win a header, to make a slide tackle, uh, just to keep the ball out of our back of the net. Uh, just, I think that's the biggest thing is that determination. And when we talk about the back line, what kind of formation and style does your back line kind of play? Uh, we play four in the back, and normally we allow the fullbacks to run up the sidelines. Uh, and when we do that, we always have cover from anybody on the field. Uh, again, that leads back to the determination to cover for your teammate and be that at that outlet. Now, defensively, would you guys say you guys are playing more aggressive this year? You guys are trying to lim limit the mistakes. Uh, what has led to such an improvement on the defense as opposed to last year to this year? Uh, I think just just like you said, that aggressive aggression. Uh, again, winning headers, slide tackles, everything uh, to keep the ball out of the 18 is our biggest goal. Um, so putting the body on the line, you know, making sure we get that ball out. Uh, so yeah, aggression, that's been the best. And you know, being a fullback, you talk about your fullbacks have the opportunities to get up and down the pitch. Now, what's so important about that? Uh, it's, it creates another option uh, in the attacking half of the field. Um, you know, it's not always that our strikers can get the ball on the back of the net on their own. They need those crosses, they need uh, those first time passes. So being that outlet for them really gets them involved in front of that in front of the net, and again, it helps just helps the team in general. And you know, if we look at your schedule, beginning of the year, you guys start off one and three. How do you overcome that to only lose one game since that? Um, I think that goes back to our coaches. Uh, we've always been able to bounce back. That's been their motto. Um, so you know, we started off rough, but this team has been determined to bounce back and you know pull off results and. Uh, winning against these big teams uh, at the top of the rankings, uh, that's been a huge motivation to why we, we keep succeeding. And you know, as captain, what can you say about your offense and your midfielder's ability to, you know, put points away and keep the defense kind of a little bit more calm, so it feel like you have a little bit more of a safety cushion, even though you guys haven't given up that safety cushion? Um, the midfield and the attacking group, they have amazing chemistry. Uh, you see it off the field, and I think that's what contributes on the field. Uh, they're all best friends, they all hang out with each other, and I think that connection, they just know where each other are on the field. Uh, they know where that final pass is going, they know where people want it, at their feet, in the space. And yeah, that chemistry really builds. And when you talk about chemistry, uh, obviously a big reason for the team's success. Would you say this year you guys are more close-knit than you were last year? Uh, yeah, this group, uh, you know, freshmen aren't different than the sophomores. We're in this together. We're, we're achieving the same goal. We want the same things. And uh, 
yeah, we're really connected since the beginning in summer. And one final question, you got three games left in your conference. You guys pretty much control your own destiny. What are you guys' thoughts looking forward? Uh, there's no room to drop points. Uh, we're going to finish out with three wins um, just to prove that we can create that gap at the top of the table. Thank you very much, Cooper. Thank you. We're here with Joseph Espinoza, sophomore forward here in the Fullerton College men's soccer team. Joseph, what have you been, or sorry, let's restart that. How have you felt this season going on, you know, having such a great season, only losing four games and having not lost in a month? Uh, honestly, it's a lot better than last year. It's actually like, it's been a fun ride, you know. Um, we haven't dropped much points and like even ties, they feel like losses to us. So, I mean, we have a really good group. And you know, you talk about even ties feel like losses when you're just that dominant and you know, it seems like you can win a game and you know, you tie a game and your thoughts, you say ties are losses. Yeah. But when you look at the other team, a tie to them could be a win. How does that make you feel just that pure dominance? I mean, it just shows the levels in the conference, you know, or just in preseason. Uh, we expect so much from our team because of all the work we put in. We're here basically our whole day, so we just expect a better outcome than ties. And, you know, last season um, I played football with one of your teammates, Cesar Zamora, and he said the main reason was, you know, we, your team was creating chances, but it seems like you just couldn't get that timely finish when you needed it. This season seems like things have changed. Uh, what would you think is the reason for that? Uh, this year, different from last year, we, like, adapted this, like, forward training with one of our coaches. And we just focus on our finishing, and I think that's helped us a lot. Now let's kind of dive in deep into that training. When you talk about this finishing training, what are some of these drills or things that uh, you've been working on to help you improve the game? Uh, it's nothing like nothing that um, hard. It's just the fundamentals. Like we just work on the easy stuff, and we just focus on like finishing, the, like finishing from so close and stuff. You know, not trying to think too much of it. You yeah. know, just. You don't need to score a banger goal. You just It just needs yeah. to go over the line in a sense. Yeah, a goal's a goal. And, you know, you talk about training, um, obviously, you know, fundamentals, but tactically, what has been working well for you in games this season? Uh, I think following our concepts, which are knockdowns, and then uh, our third man pattern, which is just knocking the ball down and putting a player through. Okay. And, you know, third man pattern, can you give me kind of a game situation where it's worked out? Um, we played against, um, I believe it was Santiago, mm -hmm. and we kept uh, peppering the ball into our nine, and we'd knock it down to the ten, and then we'd play the winger wide. Very nice. And, you know, in terms of the offense, you know, you talk about your concepts and style of play. Are you guys kind of just a fast, aggressive team? Do you like to play more of kind of that tiki-taka where you're passing the ball up and forth? Do you play through your forward runs? Do you play through your nine? Uh, what kind of offensive style would you guys say you guys play? Well, we're a very aggressive uh, team. And we, we have the conditioning to just run through the whole game. And we, this, that's basically our advantage, like, after the first half. And, you know, I was just talking to your captain, uh, fullback Cooper. Uh, the defense has been stellar this year, allowing less than a goal per game. How does that make you feel as an attacker, knowing that, you know, you can be a little bit more aggressive, knowing that your back line and your defensive midfielders have got your back? Uh, it feels honestly really good. Um, we don't have to worry about, oh, we're getting scored on. And then all we have to do is put in two or three, and we're, we're good. You know, if you look at the, goal, the score lines, um, you know, Last game you lost was against Cyprus. Very close game. Yeah. Um, any games that you have lost have been close games. It's been like a one or two score game. Haven't allowed more than one goal in a game the entire season. Um, as a team, what do you guys think that has attributed to? Um, well, I think it's just from the beginning, us not being like allowing them to score on us is just like we don't want to feel what we felt last year as sophomores. And then one kind of final question here. You say you're a forward. What is that feeling when you possibly score a game-winning goal or a goal that you know will put your team in a position to win? Uh, it's the best feeling ever, to be honest with you. Like, you can name anything, but it just it's, it doesn't top of that. Awesome. Joseph, three more games left in, com left in conference. Let's hope you guys can stay strong. You guys can control your own destiny, and let's hope you can make it farther than you guys did last year and improve each and every year. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. We're here with Angel Saviano, center back for our Fullerton College men's soccer team. Angel, tell me, we've been talking about the defense all day. You guys have been stellar. Obviously, you are a freshman. It's your first year here, but what can you say about the defensive group this year? 
Well, I think the important thing of the defensive group this year is like, it wasn't only like the back line. I felt like it was like a whole team thing. The strikers, uh, midfielders, uh, and all the back line, I think we all did a great job. The way we defend, the intensity we put to recover the balls when we lose it, I think is the key for a great defense. And I just, you know, I talked to Cooper earlier. He plays fullback. He go, tends to go up and down the pitch, try and get more grip, try to make more plays. As a center back, you're kind of, you're pretty much the anchor back there. Do you also try to get up and get more aggressive? Are you, are you the type of center back who tends to stay and hold the line? Well, uh, personally, sometimes I like to uh, read what the play uh, asks me to do, and sometimes I will jump. But it's really important to have uh, outside backs like Cooper, that they will give you that extra space, so you have like that freedom to maybe move around the back line because if not you feel like you are stuck and it's really hard to get to move the ball around so it's really important the the job from our outside backs to give us that space. Awesome and yeah. you know being a center back you have a center back partner how important is it to communicate with your center back partner? I think it's key in my case I love playing with my well, the other center back Daniel because mm -hmm. it's like uh, we are like family already I've been playing with him in club we played it before uh, joining Fullerton so I think it's really important to have uh, a partner like that in your back line that you understand as good as we do and things work as well as it's going so yeah, I think it's really important. Yeah, you know we talk about allowing your team has allowed less than a goal per game uh, for the season. Um, what kind of defensive like when you go into a game and first of all did you know were you aware that you allow less than a goal yeah. per game? You know, going into the defense, do you carry that confidence from game to game, knowing, okay, these guys, I'm not going to let them score? Well, yeah, it's, we, are, we, we knew about that, and it's something that we are proud of achieving, and it's also really important to have a keeper as we do. Mm -hmm. Our keepers are great, like, they save us a lot of times, and it's true that we try to concede as less opportunities for the other team as possible, but having these keepers that we do here is, it's true. It makes it way easier. You know, we have neglected the keeper so far in these interviews. So, what can you tell me about your goalkeepers that have done a good job to kind of save uh, your defense in in a situation of mistake or an error? Well, honestly, uh, I think it's the best keeper keepers I've ever played with. Uh, Pepe, Hayden, Alan, Sebas. Uh, they all train with Coach Mike, and I think that's really important, like to make them as good as they do and as important for us. So, yeah, I think having good keepers is super important in a team. You know, we talked about earlier, you came from Spain, uh, soccer, the number one sport in Spain, especially in, you know, in Europe in general, the very different culture in terms of soccer from Europe to the USA. Yeah. Uh, what has been the transition for you? Well, everybody in Spain wants to be a soccer player. Since we are little, boys are, they need to be soccer players. So it's like number one sport there. And the thing here, I feel like, um, in, in Europe and in Spain, it's starting to be a little bit more for selfies or for ourselves, we try to make it to the top level. But when I arrived here, I, I felt that it was like a team sport, like they really care about each other, they play for each other. So I think um, the way soccer or football, the, how do you say, it, uh, it's like improving in here, I think it's really positive and it's gonna help and a lot of kids and get to wherever they wanna get. Yeah, of course, and in terms of quality and style of play, mm -hmm. uh, what was it like from transitioning from the European style to the yeah. American style? Well, yeah, in Spain it's more like a passing game, kind of, and here it's more like uh, intensity and trying to win the ball back, playing fast, but it's true that with these coaches, Coach Kenny, Greg, they are trying to get like a more European style and we are trying to pass and play in a beautiful way, a great way in my opinion. So it's different, but these coaches, they are making it look like European soccer. So. And would you say that using, you know, your knowledge of soccer coming from Europe, has mm -hmm. it kind of helped and have you been able to, you know, kind of teach your teammates or tell your teammates things that maybe they didn't realize or maybe a different way of thinking about the game? Honestly, no, I think my teammates, they already knew, like they are, I, th I think I have great teammates, like they are great soccer players. So I think I've learned more from them that I could have teach them. So, yeah. Very nice. Thank you, Angel. Thank you. We're here with Misael Gonzalez, freshman forward here at the Fullerton College uh, Hornets soccer team. Misael, I uh, was looking at the stats earlier, you are the team's leading goal scorer as well as the team's leading assister. On a team where you guys are performing well and on a very long winch or unbeaten streak, haven't lost in over a month, what can you tell me about the season so far? 
feel like we've been having a great season as a team. We've been working hard to get these results, putting in like double sessions every every day, every week, like preseason, and I feel like it's just been paying off so far. And you know, you being a freshman, what was the transition like going from high school to playing to this talented Fullerton College team? Oh, it wasn't easy at first. It was hard. I struggled at first, but I never gave up. I kept working just like all my other teammates, and we're here now, so it feels good. You know, talk about you guys have not lost since you guys played Cyprus on September 27th. The momentum in soccer kind of, you know, I would like to say bigger than almost any sport because mm -hmm. Um, if you're confident on the pitch, there's, you're almost unstoppable. So what has this confidence from this winning streak led to you? I feel like it just, every game, winning more and more games just gives, them, gives us more confidence as a team. We just keep working. I feel like the, if we win more games, the training just get like easier and just like more tactical stuff. So I feel like that's what has been improving us as a team, just practicing more like uh, positional trainings and stuff. So we get better there and then we combine as a team. It just makes it a, like a stronger team, I guess. I'd would, say. would you say as your confidence grows and as the games go by, the chances seem to be almost creating themselves? Uh, can you repeat that? So in a sense, uh, in terms of the build-up play, and chances on goal scoring opportunities, has, does it, has it gotten easier down the line as your confidence has built? Oh yeah, definitely. I feel like um, practicing more is what has been creating the more chances because we practice like different set pieces, I guess, and that's what has been creating the chances so far. So, so when you talk about set pieces, what has been working for you guys on set pieces? I feel like uh, running down the end line and centering like running first post or second post depending on what you read throughout the game I say I feel like that's how we've been scoring more goals you know a lot of teams I feel like don't take advantage of the set pieces have you do you feel like since your team has been able to that's what kind of sets you above some of the other teams you played this season uh, yes because at first we weren't doing as much set pieces and we weren't getting um, getting the results but like after a while and we started including them in the games and that's where we've been winning you know, we talk about you are the leading goal scorer as well as the leading assister on the team. You know, typically, uh, unless, you know, you're Lionel Messi, yeah. who some people say the greatest player in the world, most people either score goals or get assists. What's it like for you to lead the team in both? I feel like it's just a lot of teamwork. I feel like, um, yeah, just having a strong team, because I can't do it all by myself. So having a strong team and having a team that pushes me to be better feels like, that's what makes it easier for me. And you being a freshman and having this success, what do you think that does to your confidence? It like obviously boosts my confidence, but I just know I have to keep working because I can be better than this, so yeah. You know, we talked to some of your teammates earlier. We talked to Cooper, we talked to Angel, we talked to Joseph. They all say about, talk about the hard work that the teams put in. Uh, so let's go back, not just to the before the season, but let's go back to last season, the off season. What is the kind of the mindset that the team has adapted in order to improve and get these results? Oh, I, f I feel like the, we put in the hard work during preseason, um, just coming in like 7, 7 a.m., leaving at 1, just having double training sessions, lots of lake runs, hill runs, and then coming back to the pitch and putting in more and more work. I feel like that's what has helped us throughout the season. And, you know, team currently in first place in the conference, what are your thoughts looking forward to the rest of conference? I just feel like we, sh we all want to win the rest few games that we have as a team to go in confident into the state championships and hopefully we can perform there and get our results. Awesome. And one final question, you know, you talk about going into the playoffs. If at this point with such a success if you've had this season, is it almost, you know, win the entire thing or bust? Uh, I feel like, yeah, we need to win the entire thing. Uh, I just, I couldn't win during high school, so doing it in college would even be like a much better thing, I'd say. And with this team, I, I feel like we can do it. Awesome. Thank you, Misael. Thank you. We are being joined by head coach Greg Avilas. And Coach Avilas, when you take a look at your team, I mean, Holden has already mentioned it. 
You start off the season one and three. After that, only one loss ever since then. What has been the key to success for this run that you guys have been on? Um, you know, early, early on, we knew we had a really talented group and the most important thing for us was gonna be growth and, and really sticking to our pillars of our program and our process. Uh, we started off the season with, you know, on paper with the hardest schedule in the state. Um, very early on, we learned, you know, we were going to go through all the tough oppositions um, from the San Diego to Northern California. And for us, it was just about every day, consistent to our process and sticking to our pillars. Coach, when you look at your run over the last month of the season, it has looked absolutely fantastic on paper. How would you grade your team's performance in the last month? Um, it's been excellent, you know, but, you know, we knew right from the beginning, even in the hard times in the opening weeks, um, even dating back to our team trip, um, we knew that we had a special group and we knew that regardless of what the record showed or what the results were, um, we had a great group. They were always very responsive. They very coachable, taking the lessons, understanding what we were really building here. And so I think for them, it, it has been consistent, you know, progress with them. And I think, um, consistent satisfaction because every day they've, they've gotten closer to want to be now. Just like any other process, right? The results will be will be a byproduct of, of just good, good foundations and good hard work. Coach, got the opportunity to end up watching one of your matches in the last couple of weeks. The formation that you guys are in and the shape that you guys have has looked really good, if not one of the best in the entire state, maybe in the nation as well. What has been the key to be able to teach your guys how to keep that shape consistently, even against different styles? It's just discipline, you know, and every player understanding their role. And it comes down to even to the dynamic of their role in the locker room, their role in the classroom, um, their role in the unit as far as the program. And that translates onto the field. And when you really know who you are as a man and you're defining what your responsibilities are, what you bring to the table, it makes defining your role on the pitch very easy. We're joined with Coach Kenny Castellanos, who is in his 12th or 13th season here coaching uh, the men's Fullerton College soccer team. Coach, what can you tell me about the season so far due to the amazing results you've seen from your team? It's been a great year. It's been a, a lot of um, learning moments from, from a good freshman class and a, a sophomore class that's kind of showed these, I mean, literally young kids turning to men um, is really the cool part for us as a staff to see. Um, and obviously the results help, uh, winning always helps, but it's the way the boys are doing it. it it's their everyday process that they do here. Um, that's what's really rewarding for us to see as coaches. You know, we talk about the process. Everyone obviously cares about the results, but I like to look at, you know, the preseason, the off season, you know, right before season trainings. Uh, what can you tell me about the preparation your team has put to see the success? You know, it's it's long, long hours, long days. Uh, we we have a saying here that we're like a family. Um, we spend more time during the fall semester with these kids than with our family ourselves. Uh, we're here long hours, early mornings, from the weight room to a study hall, to coming out and doing specific work with the determined coach, just to sharpen up those individual skills and then a team setting. Um, the boys have breakfast and lunch uh, together as a group. Um, I think all those things are, are really what separates us. Um, they are long days, but they're days that these kids will remember for the rest of their life. And it's really turned them into the men they're, they're leaving here being. And, you know, we look at last season's record compared to this season, this season significantly better. What can you point towards or maybe tactic wise or style of play that has led to the success from, from last year? Um, we learned a lot last year. I think there was, you know, I hate to say it, bouncing back from the COVID year, uh, really hurt some of these kids. They were off the field for about a year and a half. So just returning, there was a lot of lessons that we, we had to take in order for them to grow. Um, uh, if we don't have the, the bumps last season that we had, I don't think we would have this great season. I think this is a good way for the sophomore class to, to kind of re, re indicate themselves and say, you know, this is who we really were from the beginning. Um, but I think that's, that's what's really pushed us. You know, I'm, I'm not sure what the boys have shared, but a lot of games last year that we dropped, this year we have not dropped. They made it a priority. Um, 
the fact that we're in the top 10 in the country, top five in the state, um, over 70 programs compete day in and day out, week in and week out. And, and, and to be able to say that we're here in, in the top five, again, of the state of California and to be ranked in the top 10 in the country, I think is, is something that this community should be proud of. You know, and you having a long tenure coaching here, uh, where would you rank this team compared to some of the other teams you've coached in the past? Uh, it's, it's, it's a special group. It sounds kind of a cliche to say that, right? Every group gives you something. But I think this group has gone through, again, the whole COVID thing. Um, set these kids through a different challenge from what other, other classes had. So to see that other side of it, the human side of it, the, uh, the, the adversity side of it off the field, um, I think that's what gives this group a, a bit of an asterisk of, of you did something just as challenging, but then you had an extra challenge and, and they also overcame it. So. You know, if we look at the, you know, the game script of the game so far, uh, you know, starting off one and three, since then you guys have only lost one game, haven't lost a game in over a month. You look at the offense, you guys are averaging almost two goals per game and the defense and goalkeepers are giving up less than a goal per game. What can you say about the pure dominance on t in terms of the defensive side of things? Yeah, it's, uh, after the little hiccup at the beginning, it was, it was, everyone as a team understanding what we had to do. Um, we, it's hard to play here. We're a program that, that, that really prides ourselves on keeping clean sheets and, and not conceding goals and make it very difficult for teams to, to break us down, so to speak. Um, we take a pride in it. I think the boys understand, you know, that what we show on the field is a reflection of their, their, their families, themselves, and, and who they are. So I think that's, that's, that's the awesome part. And then the goals, you know, when, when things are going good and, and players are doing things good off the field, um, the soccer part becomes easy. It becomes easy when they're, when they're locked in in the classroom. And you, know, you talk about clean sheets, seven clean sheets so far this season. Uh, what does a clean sheet do not only to your defense, but as well as to your offense, you know, to just improve confidence? Yeah, it gives us belief. It gives us belief that no matter where we go, um, we've had to face some of the top teams in the state. You know, we took a trip up north, we were undefeated, we didn't concede a goal. Um, it gives you belief that, that you can go and win a game anywhere you go. We have very talented attacking options, but you know, we say it a lot, defense wins championships. Um, and the kids have bought in. They bought in two clean sheets and, and, and it helps win games. And one final question, what are your thoughts looking forward on the final three seasons of conference, conference and then as well as going on to the playoffs? Um, we're excited. We're excited. We, we hope that, again, the lessons we learned early in the year are now going to pay its, its, its dividends. Um, closing out at home tomorrow third or Friday for sophomore day um, is a nice event to to congratulate them and thank them for, for, for their service here um, and then this playoff run is just enjoying it as, as a group we put in a lot of hard work I, I would go on a limb and say there's not a lot of groups out there in the state that have worked as hard as this group has so we expect a lot of big things to come in the next coming weeks Thank you, Coach Kenny Castellanos, and good luck thank to you. you as you close out the season. Thank you very much. So once again, we want to thank the men's soccer program here at Fullerton College for giving us the opportunity to come out and talk to them about their season and also their program as well. So for Holden Remy, I'm Ryan Osborne, thanking you for joining us here on The Coach's Show on 90.1 KBPK.